Vice President Joe Biden has finally started to get pressed on actual policy ideas out on the campaign trail, and it led to his first back and forth with the left, which is what people expected from the very beginning would be the thing that started to take his support down from where it is in the kind of glow of the Obama administration down to where people think it will be once Biden's record is fully litigated. Now there's some real questions about whether or not that's going to actually happen or whether uh, Democratic voters are just content to, to try to relive eight, eight years of Obama, but this time do it through Uncle Joe Biden. But the, the, the way that he ended up uh, getting dunked on was through climate change. He was pressed on when he was going to actually come forward with a climate policy. And he said, what I'm going to end up proposing is something of a middle ground. Although first he said, he, you know, he doesn't really have time to put together all of these policy ideas and people will just have to wait. Eventually he's going to get around to it. But he said, w when it comes to climate, he wants to take a middle ground. You know, this is while the United Nations is warning that if we don't turn around the kind of basically the industrialized economy in the next close to 11 years now, then we're just screwed that the carbon concentration in the atmosphere will not support a human population the size of the one we have. It will support a human population over the next 50 to 100 years, but it would not be in the range that it is now. Right now, there are about 9 billion people on the planet. Projections are that at the carbon concentrations where we're headed, the planet could, could support maybe a, a billion people. So you're talking about a cataclysm that would lead to the, the deaths of billions of people and the reshaping of human civilization as we know it. Sunrise Movement, you know, wh which along with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez occupied Nancy Pelosi's office back in November and, and catalyzed the Democratic Party around the idea of a Green New Deal, finished its month-long uh, cross-country road tour in Washington, D.C at Howard University's Crampton Auditorium. And at that auditorium, Bernie Sanders, uh, Ed Markey, Ed Markey, one of the, the, uh, the lead sponsor of the Green New Deal in the Senate, and Ocasio-Cortez spoke. And it was very clear that Biden was on a lot of people's minds. While Ocasio-Cortez was speaking, somebody in the crowd near me shouted out, no middle ground. And Ocasio-Cortez clearly got the reference and, and immediately said, you're right, absolutely no middle ground. And then she came at Biden with this line. No middle ground is right. Because I'm always curious, but I'm always curious when they say that, oh, it's too much. What do they actually mean by that? Is 100% clean and renewable energy too much? No. Is fighting for dignified jobs that pay people enough to live too much? is proposing a solution on the scale of the climate crisis to solve it too much. Biden, responding to Ocasio-Cortez, has come back and told everybody to quote unquote, uh, calm down, uh, which is not gonna go over well, with, particularly with the, with the younger generation. Biden's idea is that his path to the nomination runs through old people. His campaign advisors have been quite explicit about that. They say, look, the, the primary electorate is mostly over 50. Uh, they're mostly moderate to conservative people, and they're the kind of people that are gonna come out and elect Joe Biden. Historically, that has been what the Democratic primary electorate has looked like. The question is, will that be different this time with people like Ocasio-Cortez and the Sunrise Movement trying to register young voters and turn them out to the polls? Or will it be the same old biddies that have elected the same type of Democrats year after year after year?